Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Glamorous Beauty and today we will be reviewing and doing a wear test on the Kylie Cosmetics 21st Birthday Sipping Pretty as well as her lipstick formula. So if you have been curious of how this wears and if it's worth investing your money into, then you're in the right place. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel and become a part of our Beauty Bay family and make sure that you hit the notification bell down below because it's definitely important that way you guys get my content and give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado let's get into today's video <laughs> like I said in the intro we're going to be creating this look today using the sipping pretty palette what I'm gonna do is tell you a little bit about this and then jump in to creating this it comes in this gorgeous packaging I really really love the way she did the uh, 21st birthday collection and then you've got all your ingredients this does have carmine in it as well as Red Lake 28. So certain shadows have each of those ingredients. So if you have sensitivity to the eyes, you will definitely pick it up with this palette. So if you knowingly know you have an allergic reaction to either one of those ingredients, definitely do not purchase this palette. If you're unsure, you know, if you like what, I have to tell you and you like the way it blends and turns out then purchase it they always do refunds so you can definitely give it a try but I wanted to let you guys know about those two ingredients I'm gonna leave down in the description um, two links one that's gonna send you to a site where it lists every one of her products in details that is cruelty and vegan free as well as another website that actually goes in full details about all of her ingredients and where she gets her minerals from where she gets her runway uh, collection from and it just really goes fully in depth so I'll leave both of those links down below now here is the actual sipping pretty palette it's nice and matte black with the raised glitter this glitter it does come off and then on the back you have all of the names now on the inside of this palette it does not give you the names and i really wish that it did this palette is considered a pressed powder palette so you know that and here's all the gorgeous shades what i do love about this palette is it has a little bit of everything it has your pinks and your blues neutrals it has mattes, it has shimmers, a black, it's got like an off white, which is right here to like set your shadows if you're into that anymore. It has a gorgeous, huge mirror. It's got basically everything you need. You can definitely travel with this. It's a perfect size. This retails for $65, which is definitely more on the higher end side of it, but it's Kylie Jenner come on and it's her 21st birthday that is the shadow palette sipping pretty you can also purchase this gorgeous bag and then on the back it's just like really just you know just blank I really wish there was more to it the pictures is actually really not that clear it's kind of got like a gloss over it that kind of diffuses it I really wish they wouldn't have done that then you have the inside which is really spacious it does open quite a bit you have an additional pocket but let me see I think I beat all the glitter out of here there is glitter in there and then especially in the smaller I'm trying to get my camera to pick it up and it's really not going to but there's a ton of glitter in this bag from where I've had the palette sitting in there just know that and this bag does retail for $32 individually now if you get one of the kits 
Obviously, it runs a hundred and something dollars, and all of that comes with it. Let me find it. I'm also going to be giving you guys a full wear test and a review on her 21st birthday lipstick. I did only purchase one, and it's in the shade Ragger. It's really cute, again, with the packaging. I really, really love her, her packaging. It's like all kind of like white with a little bit, you can like see some red coming through from her bra. And then it has 21 right here. It's just really cute. Again, she lists all her ingredients. This shade, Ragger, I'm opening it up for you. It's nice. It's sleek purple. It's got Kylie Jenner wrote on it. And then you have the name on the bottom, your regular twist top. Cause right there it has Kylie written like engraved in it it's really really cute i really like that so you know it's just a little extra details the lipsticks individually are 17 dollars not too bad on the lipstick depending on how it wears and the longevity you get 0.12 ounce 3.5 grams in the lipsticks the shadow palette you get 21 shadows at 0 0.03 ounce or 21 by 0.85 grams. The shadows are good for 24 months. Let me give you a little info before we get started. Some more info. I have played with this palette several times and I will tell you now I have had a little bit of a reaction with the pinks and the reds. I've never in my life had any type of reaction to Carmine or Red Light 28. I'm going to tell you now, this is a very dusty palette. And I don't think so much that my eyes is having a sensitivity to the actual ingredients. Because they're so dusty, they really, little pieces of it, gets into the eye. And I think that that's where the sensitivity is coming from. The stain, extremely bad. Very bad with or without a primer. I've tried all kinds of primers and every time it has stained when i would go to remove it because it's very hard to remove afterwards for a couple of days my eyelids are very very sensitive it's almost kind of like a faint burning feeling i'm really not sure there's a ton of other ingredients in her products so i'm just going to keep playing with it and the more I find out, the more I will update you guys in this video in the description. Just continue to keep an eye out and I'll just continue to update you guys on what's going on with it. Let's get into the actual shadows and the fun part of it. As always, I do a full wear test to let you guys know if it's going to stay. So I'm going to take my Morphe M441 brush which is just a nice fluffy brush. The first shade I'm gonna go into is the very first shade right here, a off-white. That shade name is Vanilla on Vanilla. And all I'm gonna do is run that right in to that crease. <laughs> does come off rather more pink than an off-white. I do not set my shadows. I'm just giving my crease a nice touch of powder so the rest of the shadows go on very effortlessly and they blend very smooth. The next shade I'm going to go into is check id which is this shade right here i played in the pinks and all that and i'm going to tell you now even let me show you the kickback real quick there's the kickback so it's very dusty but even your more red tones in this palette really come out more pink instead of vibrant red so just know that so even check id which looks like a mauvey tone in the pan is going to come out leaning more towards pink tones. Here we go. 
See exactly what I'm telling you. It comes out very pink. I wanted to do something a little different because there's so many people that's already used this pink shade. I feel like everybody that's played with this palette goes for the pink. But upon doing so, even the reds turn out pink. So you're going to get a pink look either way you go. There's one layer of Check ID. I clean my brush off with my color swatch. All right, babe. So I have no idea what's going on with my camera. It just totally cut off everything. So here we are. We're right there. I cut the crease. I put on um, Martini Mama on the inner part. Martini Mama is this glitter here or shimmer took a little bit of mimosa and I deepened that outer crease. For whatever reason, my camera totally cut off. So I'm so sorry. This thing has gone wonky as hell. Now we're going to go into blackout, which is this deep dark black. I'm going to take a Real Technique angled precision brush and we're going to cut that wing. I really love this black for this. As you can see, it turns out very nice for a wing. If you struggle with a wing, this is definitely, definitely the way to go. So as you can see, it's very deep and dark. Perfect for a wink. nice cute wing. The thing I love about this is it gives you such a gorgeous precise wing without any struggle. You struggle with a nice smooth wing and like real even. Definitely this is great for that. So now we're going to take my Crease 315 by MUA and we're going to start working on that lower lash line. I thought about redoing this video being that Again, it's cut out, but this is like the third time I've tried to film this and I want to get this review up for you guys. So there's the fallout right there. And this is Tequila Tangerine. It's just like a nice peachy orange. <laughs> That blackout really smudges out real nice too. Like it's so nice for smudging. Now we're going to go back in to my first shade, which was Check ID. It's very beautiful. Now going in with a nice real technique precision brush or angle brush. We're going to take a little bit of mimosa, which was that deep dark brown. We're going to place that really tight to the lash line. Just like that. Alright babe, so after using mimosa and I really cut that really close to that lower lash line, take just a tad bit of black out and really up close to that lower lash line. And I'm only going to take this halfway in. Going back in with my MUA brush. This time I'm going to take 
a little bit of check ID and tangerine and we're just gonna smoke that out <laughs> Just like that I really love it it's so pretty and that eyeliner is just on point if you can see like it really does get messy so definitely have your brush handy if you do your makeup first do suggest doing your eyes first when using this palette really sucks that it cut off half my look like that makes me so mad now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this like it's um E F O L A R is the brand it's kinda like worn off because I've had this quite a while it's got a brush up top and then it's just a nice it's got like a brow powder if you flip the top it's brow powder and then if you turn it we got the black gel and it was like two bucks so really good deal and it lasts forever and I'm gonna place this in my waterline just like that what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go put on some mascara curl my lashes and then I will be back in a couple of hours to give you guys a nice thorough breakdown of my opinions on this palette and how it wore throughout the day so I'll see you beauties in just a few all right beauty so one thing I totally forgot I did go ahead and put mascara on is I forgot to do the lipstick now how can I forget this gorgeous thing this is a red and if you've been here a minute on my channel you absolutely know that I do not do reds oh I got a little itch so you absolutely hands down know that I do not do reds like there's just no reds going on these lips but for the sake of this video I really wanted to do a pop of color I have played with this of course sometimes I like to do first impressions where you guys actually see my initial shock but then sometimes I really like to get into these especially with palettes and really play around so I can get a really good in-depth review we're just going to go ahead and snatch this on these lips <laughs> Now, as you can see, I'm definitely using the tip of this lipstick as a liner. You definitely need a liner with this bright of a red, but it's such a gorgeous shape. And that's ragger and it's very matte this formula is very matte it feels very creamy once it's applied but now it does take you know a little bit of effort to get this on it is such a matte formula that it just doesn't glide on like butter like you can really feel it tugging when you're pulling you know to glide it let me know what you think about this red on me obviously yes I just don't do red I just I'm not that I just don't step out of my comfort zone with lipstick colors now I will with hair mentioning hair what do we think I'll step out of my comfort zone with a lot of things just not really lipstick but that's something that I'm gonna have to start getting accustomed to especially having a channel for you guys something about this formula I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it all out there for you this formula will stay on your lips all day long like it damn near dries down kiss proof like it's that long lasting get the longevity of a liquid lipstick without sacrificing 
you know, more moisture. It's way more moisturizing and not as dry and cracky as a liquid lipstick. You can definitely tell that it still has that matte formula behind it. But I will tell you, her lipstick formula is totally worth the $17 because it's going to last you literally all day long. I love a good lipstick formula. And the thing is, I really don't love liquid lipsticks. Having a actual lipstick that stays on all day is just like perfection to me. And it's very hard to find a regular lipstick that's going to last you all day long. It doesn't leave you with little, what some people call a butthole lip, you know, where the um, inner part's rubbed off and all you see is the outer part. So it's really great. I will be back in just a bit to tell you my final thoughts and show you guys again how it wore throughout the day. Alright beauty, so we are back and it is nearing the end of the night. I am ready to start getting this stuff off of me and get ready to chill and catch up on some Instagram. I want to say real quick, my sister is doing fabulous. So I send so much love to all of you guys for sending me so much love and prayers for me and my family during the time of her kidney failure. She is up 100%. So again, everything will be starting to get back on a normal schedule starting this week coming up. So I'm really excited because I'll be able to film constantly again and stay on top of my Instagram um, because I've really fallen behind on my Instagram. Definitely know that starting next week, we're going to be back on a normal schedule and uploading consistently i just wanted to say real quick thank you so much for all of your kindness your loves your thoughts your prayers your constant um messages and dms checking on her that really meant so much to me you guys have no idea when it involves your family when so many people that haven't even met me you know, in person, just through our video and our connection, and you guys reach out to, to me and to my family to really follow along to make sure that she's okay, to make sure I'm okay. It just really touches you, you know. There's so much kindness still in this world. I will be doing a video on some stuff going on in the YouTube world. I have my own things to say about that, but definitely a lot of love and kindness in this world. So, with all that out of the way, what do we think, guys? What do we think about this red on me? What do we think about the change of hair color? What do we think about these eyes? Mm, mm. Leave that down in the comments, guys. Let me know. Let me know what you think. What you like on me, what you don't. What you want to see on me, what you don't. All right. So, sipping pretty. Really cute. Hate the glitter, 100%. I'm not down with this glitter. Hate glitter like that gets everywhere, especially on packaging. Because even if you touch it and you touch your face, it does transfer onto the face. Outside of that, this packaging is just so cute. I love, you know, the back. However, I wish if she had went with the names on the back, she would have also done so on the inside of the palette. I really think it gives it such a more high-end uh, look when the names are on the front of the palette and it makes it easier especially for creators to give you guys exactly what shade we're using so if you guys want to follow along with us you know exactly the name right off the top you know I don't like that they're on the back and they're not on the front uh, I do really really love this mirror it's it's huge now these shadows are magnetic they pop out and they'll pop in if you want to take let's say this section of it in your own palette you can definitely do that the formula on these is more of a drier consistency they're very powdery they have a ton of kickback it does get on the face the pinks and the reds I'm a little iffy on strictly just just because I've had some type of reaction going on to these. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. However, today I'm doing fine. So, you know, again, it's really hard to say with this type of formula if you're having a reaction or not. We're constantly trying new products, our chemicals in our own body changes. So it's just really crazy um, to really determine that. But again, it does have carmine. It does have Red Lake 28 in it. 
the blend, the blend on this is gorgeous. It's flawless. It's really smooth. It doesn't skip. It doesn't drag. It doesn't oxidize in certain areas. It doesn't lift. I mean, and she nailed it on this formula, really. Um, these mattes are just phenomenal. Like, I really, really love this. These shimmers, um, this one right here, which is B-Day Bitch, really doesn't show up. Now, if you turn your head a certain way and a light hits it, it's highly reflected. This is like popping straight off. This one you will not see at all unless you turn your head a certain way and then it's like a bank in your face glow. So it's nice for highlighting. Now I really have loved Martini Mama, which is what I'm wearing today. The longevity on these, they're not as long as some shimmers. You know, I've done this with and without glitter glue and they last a good amount of time, but there is a ton more shimmers on the market that last way longer and way less expensive. Overall, I mean, I re this really reminds me of the Huda Beauty palettes. The shades really remind me a lot of the Blood Sugar palette. So, it's like way cheaper than this. Not way cheaper, but it is less expensive than this palette. Blends the same. It has gorgeous everything. That whole blood sugar palette is just phenomenal. Would I spend $65 on this? I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I would not suggest someone to spend $65 on this just because there is similar palettes out there that you can get the same results, some even better, for way less. If this was priced around the $40, $48, something like that, I would totally recommend this palette because I really do. I really like this palette. I just, I'm not a fan of these shimmers, but the, the mattes are phenomenal. Like, I love them. I'm just going to swatch real quick, like the blue one, the purple one, this red one, and this one right here. This guy, this guy is very dry. Um, he's got glitter like on the top. But it's not all the way through. So as you guys can see, I'm going to swatch these real quick, which are the ones that we didn't go through. How do I want to do this? So you can see the pigment. Like, it's insane pigment. Like, I'm not saying that at all. Even with the powder, like, I don't mind kickback at all. So if they perform, you can have kickback all day long and I'll work with you. Like, I don't care. The shimmers, I do have a problem with. Like, they're great. They're a good formula. Don't get me wrong. But the longevity is not going to last you long. That is it. The lipsticks, you guys know, hands all down. Like, all the way down. Like, hands down. I love, love, love the lipstick formula. I will be getting every single one of her lipsticks. Like, I absolutely love it. I do not dislike Kylie or like her. I'm not like some big great fan, nor do I disagree with anything she does. I'm not a consistent follower of her. This is my first Kylie um, purchase that I've ever had. Now that I got it, damn sure I'm going to use it because I really do like it. And I do think, like, like I said, if you travel a lot and you want to invest, um, in something $65, like definitely, I like it. Like, I like this way better than I do the Huda Beauty palette. If I had to pick or choose, I would definitely go with this versus the Huda Beauty. Anywho, one last thing, and then I'll let everybody go for the night. If you guys will, please leave down in the comments. Jenny just changed her number and myself are going to be doing some huge giveaways for Christmas. I kind of want to go ahead and get them started now. Question. We want to do a $400 Sephora gift card giveaway. Let me know in the comments if you guys want us to pick one winner and that one huge winner gets the whole $400 or if you beauties, yeah, if you beauties want us to pick two winners and do 200 and 200 a piece. Now keep in mind, we will be doing palettes and skincare and body products and all kinds of beauty products um, throughout the next few months. We will be doing those also in giveaways. So 
just doing the $400 Sephora gift card, that is not the only giveaway that we're going to be having. I would like to do like that big, huge giveaway for like one big, like huge giveaway for Christmas and then do some smaller ones. Ultimately, it's not up to her and I. It's up to you guys. So definitely start sounding off down below what you guys want us to do. And that's what we'll do. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next